North Korea has also been hard hit by floods. The South Korean government announced that it will be sending at least 10 billion won, equivalent to 10 million U.S. dollars worth of aid to the north. The package will include rice and building materials. The administration has decided to participate in emergency rescue projects for North Korea's flood victims on a humanitarian level after considering the critical level of the floods and requests to the government by politicians and different people from different levels of society for assistance. South Korea, a major supplier of aid to North Korea, has cut off its regular food assistance after the North defied international warnings and fired seven missiles on July 5th. Three major storms hit the north last month, causing flooding that killed at least 151 people. A pro Pyongyang paper put the death toll at 549, with 295 missing. South Korea has said it could resume its regular food aid to North Korea if Pyongyang returned to stall talks on ending its nuclear weapons program. The flooding is believed to have hurt into potato and rice production. Famine in the north during the 1990s brought on by years of flood, drought and mismanaged farm policy, killed at least one million people. The WFP says as many as 2.5 million, or 10 percent of the country's population, died during that famine. Even in a good year, North Korea falls about one million tons short of the grain it needs to feed its people.